It is a crime all too familiar here in the Bay, catalytic converter thefts. Two San Francisco women say that they caught a thief in the act. They call police, but as Crown Force Gail Ong tells us tonight, officers let him go. It was around 3 a.m. Tuesday when home surveillance video captured this car parking in the area near 24th and Anza Street in San Francisco's Richmond District. A Jeep could be seen nearby soon after. I woke up to the sound of what I thought was kind of like drilling. It sounded like a, a tile cutter. I thought that it might be a catalytic converter being cut. And she says that's what it was. Morgan Heller and her roommate called 911. Police arrived quickly. Heller says officers even pulled the man from under the car, detained him, but ultimately let him go. When they told us that they weren't going to arrest the suspect, I asked why. Heller says officers told her they did not have enough evidence to make an arrest. The owner of the car was not there, and while the man carried a car jack, he had not yet taken the converter. And police admit they were dealing with a citywide outage that prevented them from verifying the man's ID. A Richmond station sergeant the next day, they confirmed that the whole system was down for the city um, for at least two hours. Um, I asked how frequent that happened, and he said occasionally, sometimes planned, sometimes not. So when you talk when I talk about like my reaction, it was really just um trying to understand the reasons for no arrest and trying to understand this outage, which I thought sounded really alarming. San Francisco police responded to the incident in a statement that reads in part, our job is not just to enforce the law, but to ensure everyone is protected by the law. Releasing a possible suspect does not mean the investigation is over. In fact, it means the investigation is just beginning. As for the car involved, police say it was a stolen vehicle. It was later returned to its owner. As for the man in question, Heller says he walked away with his car jack in hand. It felt like a very stark difference between what we saw last winter in the um, smash and grabs in Union Square and the police response to that type of property crime, property that doesn't belong to people but belongs to corporations versus this property crime. In San Francisco, Gail Ong, Cron 4 News.